Hey guys, I'm Dawn of Time, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Fire Red. So yeah, let's just keep going along Route 6. Okay, so going along Route 6, skip around this trainer. And I actually had a mistake, so I... And I mean it, mistake. So I beat these two trainers here, but that just gets us to Vermilion City faster. Now, one really important thing is inside of this house, there's a sailor person, and he's the fishing guru. Simply loves fishing and can't bear to go without it. So, I like to fish too, as I tell him. And, he's gonna give us an old rod, which we can use to fish on water. All you gotta do is just set it to your selected item, and then go over to some water, and then you can just fish right there and get all sorts of Pokemon. Um, I believe this guy's got something important. Pokemon Fan Club. He's going to talk, yeah, so he's going to talk about his Pokemon right here. And he's just going to keep talking. And after talking for a while, he's going to give us a bike voucher, which can get us a free bike in Cerulean City. So yeah, he's going to tell us more about how his Fero can make him fly. Anyways, I'll meet you guys back in Cerulean City, where I'll cash in our bike voucher for a bike. Okay, so I'm back in Cerulean City, right in front of the Grass and Caves Handle Easily bike shop. And we are going to talk to the person in front. Oh, that's a bike voucher. Okay, here you go. And he's gonna take our bike voucher and give us a bicycle and it just explains to us that by going into the select menu well no, start menu like I'll show in a moment if you go over to important items right down here you can set your bicycle oh, whoops you can register your bicycle to select and then anytime we want we can bike around and look at us yeah, I, I'm not a huge fan of the bicycle music, but hey, we're a little bit faster now. Not as fast as in most games. I mean, some games, you just go insanely fast. But oh well, it's good enough. So yeah, anyway, I will meet, meet you guys... Whoops. Yeah, I'll meet you guys back in Vermilion City. Okay, so we're back in Vermilion City on our new bike. And we're gonna go over to, let me see if I can get past here, go over to, no, it's Vermilion Harbor, going to go to Route 11, because there's a place I want to go. Right here it says Diglett's Cave. And I'm hoping to recruit a new member on my team. Wasn't well, this a surprise? Diglett it dug this, this long tunnel. It goes right to the Viridian City, they tell me. Well, we've been to Viridian City before. So, I'm going to look for the certain Pokemon that I'm looking for inside of this place, and I will cut to it once I find it. Okay, look at this. We found a Diglett. Um, I was originally gonna catch... Oops. I was originally going to catch a Doug Trio, but they're like around level 30 at this point, and that's too high for us even to be able to control if we tried to use it on our team. So I'm just gonna train this di um, this Diglett instead, and first I gotta catch it, okay. Good thing about our Probat is that any ground moves can't hurt us, because we're flying type. So let's hit it with the Super Sonic right here. I'm also surprised how fast Diglett actually is. I mean, it's faster than our Probat, and it's also faster than Goku. Okay, so let's bite it now. Let's lower its HP. Great, it hurt itself. We don't want it to hurt itself too much. So... We try throwing a Pokeball this turn. Just to make sure. Also, should have bought some more Pokeballs. In case this fails, come on. Okay, one, 
two, three. There we go. And we got a Diglett. Okie doke. I don't know why Onyx was on that page. It burrows through the ground at a shallow depth. It leaves a raised spot of earth in its wake, making it easy to spot. And I've got a good name for our Diglett. Unfortunately, this doesn't really apply to it yet, seeing as it's not fully evolved, but it will be soon enough, so this is going to be a funny name. Threesome! I am going to love throwing that into battle. Throw my threesome into battle. Okay, um... Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center now, and I'll meet up over here in a moment. Okay, so we're back in this spot, and I just want to point out really quick our Diglett, or should I say our Threesome, has a calm nature and unfortunately has the ability Sand Veil which makes it so that it ups evasion in a sandstorm. Only problem with that is we're not going to be running into many sandstorms, so... Would have been nice to have Arena Trap, which cancels out Pokemon switching. But oh well. Just gonna go down here... and talk to this guy. Welcome to the SSN. Excuse me, do you have a ticket? And I flash the SS ticket. Great, welcome to the SSN. And with that, we enter the SS Anne. Look how small that ship is. Okay. But suddenly we shrink down to size. Passengers are restless from this long voyage. You might be challenged by the b more bored ones. Okay, so, um, I just want to explain what's in these rooms really quick. Because I'm going to off screen them. So in this room right here is a just a simple trainer battle. In this room right here is a trainer that will um, heal your Pokemon each time you talk to her. In this room is another trainer battle. In the next room is I believe another trainer battle. This room, one of these rooms, has another trainer battle of course. If you get what I mean, there's a lot of trainer battles on this thing. But in this room right here is TM31 Brick Break. So yeah, cool stuff. I'm gonna off-screen these things. So I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so I off-screen went and picked up TM31 Brick Break and also healed my Pokemon after the fight that was in there. And now let's move along to the next section, which is right down here. And the end of this boat is pretty close, there's also a bunch more rooms. I think I'm gonna... Let me see... Only two of them are actually important, which is this room right here... Oops. Um, inside of this room, which I'm not gonna pick up right now, inside of that room is an X attack, and in this room... No, this room is a Stardust. Yeah. Not gonna pick those up. Um, instead, I think we're gonna call it quits right here because I feel like stopping. Okay, so um, guess I will see you guys in the next episode.